notes as fast as possible. This is like my instant thoughts using a translation, some of the stuff that's translated wrong. So I might make a few mistakes, but I will do my best. So let's get into this. Starting with Mario, his final smash. Uh, increased damage and the hitbox bigger, okay. Kirby dash attack, reduced vulnerability, which means, so, oh, okay, his, his, forward, his dash attack has less cooldown, which means it ends quicker, which means it's safe front shield. Extended launch stitches when hitting the beginning of the attack. Uh, I think that's knockback. But yeah, so so it kills earlier, and it's safer on shield. But the first hit is the only part that's stronger and, and uh, hits further. Down smash. Increased attack speed. Attack speed means, okay, it comes out faster. So the first frame is quicker on Kirby's down smash. So it comes out quicker. Didn't he get buffed last time? Or like two patches ago? What's going on here? Um, let's see. Extended launch distance. So again... More knockback, kills earlier. Forward air, increased power of second and last attack. So the second and last attack do more damage. And the last hit knocks back further, which means it'll be harder to combo with, but it kills earlier. It's pretty interesting. Back air, extended launch distance when hitting with the beginning. So the sweet spot, the first hit of the back air, now kills earlier. This is very good. Ooh, his down smash was stronger too. It kills earlier. Interesting. Dash attack. All right, so Captain Falcon's dash attack has faster cooldown, which means it's safer on shield. Up smash. Uh, it does more knockback, so it kills earlier. Side B, increased attack rage forward when used on the ground. So my guess is that they made it so it doesn't do that little glitch anymore. The little glitch where he like... Doesn't it doesn't have right hit detection? Um, let me see if I'm right though. Let's see what attack range is. Oh, it's a bigger hitbox. So maybe that means the actual hitbox. So like he doesn't whip as much. Launch angle when used on the ground. So the launch angle is different, which means we don't know exactly what the angle is, but that might make it easier to combo out of when he does it on the ground and hits you up. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. But uh, look, interest shortens lost distance when used on the ground. Oh, so that means he can combo. He might be able to combo out of it now. Interesting, because you don't um, launch distance is knockback, so you don't go as far when used on the ground, which he might be able to kill, combo out of it. Make it easier to trigger a meteor effect when using it in the air. So now I think that's a hit detection thing. You can meteor better in the air now. Down special increased attack speed, so his falcon kick comes out quicker now. At high damage range, is that the big hitbox? High damage. I'm guessing that's like the, the sweet spot. I'm just gonna guess. It is the sweet spot. Let's see. Let's go to the next part. Jigglypuff final smash, don't care about it. Sheik side smash attack. Made it easier to hit multiple times. Increased attack range of the second attack. So that means that uh, it combos into the second hit, because it's two hits. Combos into the second hit faster. And the second hitbox is bigger, which makes it maybe easier to anti-air, but that also makes probably makes it easier to combo. Falco, 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 what is going on here? What's going on here? Down tilt attack, increased attack speed. Wow, so it comes out of frame earlier. Adjusted launch angle, what does that mean? Do you go straight up? Do you go further out? That is very interesting. I wonder, I wanna look into that. Up smash, made it easier to hit multiple times. Okay, so people don't fall out as easy. People, a lot of Falcon mains complain about that, so that's good to know. Get myself in the right spot. Okay, uh, new, uh, extended launch distance. Launch distance, higher knockback, so it kills earlier. And now increase the amount of time hit detection, lads. Oh, it's more active. It has more active frames. Oh my god. Increase the speed of the last attack. I mean, Falco's neutral here, it goes like this. So it means that the second to last hit and the last hit, they combo faster. So probably that's 
probably what caused people to fall out of his neutral layer sometimes. Increase the attack range. Attack range. Oh, so the final hit also has a bigger hitbox. That's good. That is good. Down air. Reduced vulnerability. Uh-oh, that means landing lag. Let's see. Reduced vulnerability and reduced vulnerability when landing. So that means the auto cancels earlier and it has lower full down. That Falco's down air already had really quick auto cancel. Oh my god. Oh, I love this character. He's one of my mains in Smash 4 Melee. And Brawl. Side special. Increase the amount of time hit detection last. I don't... Did I forget what that means? So, oh, so it's more active. Okay. The side B is more active. So it has it has the hitbox out for a longer period of time. Increased attack speed when used on the ground. And now it comes out faster on the ground. Oh my god, they made him so much better. I cannot wait to take him into training mode. Marth. Down smash attack. Extended launch distance when hitting with a height. So his tipper kills earlier now. Forward, forward air. His tipper hitbox. Let me make sure I'm right about that. Okay, so the tipper. Wait, I damn. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the tipper on his forward air is easier to hit now. Same with his back air and his up air. That's very, very good. Making it easier for Marth to tip is like his whole game. That's interesting. Why is Mewtwo getting buffs? Again? Oh my god. Okay, back air attack, extended launch distance. So his back air kills earlier now. It has more knockback. Increased power of the tip of the middle and middle range. So the tip and the and the middle hitbox now do more damage. Up air, extended loss distance, so it kills earlier. Interesting. Down throw, reduced vulnerability, reduced high damage range translates to scaling knockback. Oh, okay. Let me go back to high damage range. So his up air. No, it says made, made it easier to hit with the high damage range. That can't be scale knockback. It's about the hitbox. That's what it says here. Attack range, hitbox size. What is damage range? Damage window. It says high damage window means sweet spots. Hmm. I'm having trouble on this one. So higher damage range. I don't know. And now I'm a little confused. Maybe I might. We'll see. All right. I want to go back to down throw for me too. Reduce vulnerability means it has less cooldown, which means he might be able to combo out of his down throw now. Mewtwo King is probably freaking out right now. I wonder if he's doing that. Let me I want to look at his. Let's see if Mewtwo King is streaming right now. Where? Where is he? The last thing you should... uh oh. I just want to see real quick if like he's what if he's on Mewtwo right now. I don't think Mewtwo can streaming. All right, whatever. But uh, that's really strong. Neutral special increased power when not charged. So that means that the small ball does more damage. Increased attack speed. Attack speed. Doesn't that mean? It... Okay, that means it comes out faster. Reduced vulnerability. It has less cooldown now. Oh my god. That is a big buff. Oh, and it, the landing lag on his up B now has less landing lag, so he can teleport better. Oh my god. That's strong. Oh, Meta Knight buffs? Okay. So his neutral attack range is hitbox, right? All right, so neutral layer on Meta Knight's neutral layer has a bigger hitbox. His forward air has reduced vulnerability. Now, here's the thing. If it doesn't say when land landing, it just means that it auto cancels earlier. So he might have less landing lag on forward air, but maybe he can auto cancel out of forward air now. That would be really cool. I don't know if he could do that before, but that'd be cool. Made it easier to hit. So, you know, people don't fall out. Back air, people won't fall out as much. Neutral special. Increase the amount of time. Hit attack and flash. High dynamic range. Okay, so it has more active frames on the sweet spot. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, Pit. What, what we got? Adjusted launch angle and down tilt. Maybe this kills now. Maybe it pops up for combos now. But it shortened the launch distance, which means less knockback, which means... Let me make sure I'm right about that. Launch distance. 
Yeah, I think it's lower knockback. So that means maybe he can combo out of his down tilt now. Interesting. Up smash, extended launch extensions. So now it kills earlier. Down smash. Adjusted launch angle of the first attack. So that might make the angle better, so it might kill earlier. Uh, maybe it sends it a more horizontal angle. Up air attack. Increased attack speed. That means it, it's, it has an earlier startup. It comes out faster. It's very strong. New launch angle. Who knows if that's for comboing. And since it says extended launch distance for the last attack, I mean, I, I'm going to guess that means it kills earlier now. And that the, the launch angle they chose makes it kill earlier now since they made the knockback higher. Reduce vulnerability. That means it auto cancels earlier. It might mean this might be a mistranslation. It might mean it has less landing lag. Attack when getting up. Get up attack. Okay, I guess his get up attack uh, had more lag. So they made it have less lag. So it's safe for now. Pit down special. Reduce vulnerability. So his little reflector now has less cooldown when you let go of it. That's crazy. All right. Same thing with Dark Pit. Zero Sam's Ike. No, why are they above Ike? Oh, no. So if vulnerability is end lag, that means not the auto cancel window. My bad. That means that uh, like if you do it in the air, you can do it again. My bad. My bad on that. So that means like he can do more up airs and successions since he has so multi so many multiple jumps. Pit. Interesting. That that might be the same for Meta Knight. Maybe he can be like forward air, forward air, forward air. Since it has uh, reduced vulnerability, since he has so many jumps. Interesting. All right, Ike dash attack. Uh, extended launch distance, which means it kills earlier now. Down tilt has shorter launch distance, launch distance, which means it might combo into stuff now. It might combo stuff. Neutral air attack, extended launch distance. Uh-oh, that's a nerf. He might not be able to combo and do his up air at kill percents anymore. Uh-oh. Also, they made the hitbox. See, it says low damage range. That it sounds like they made the hitbox smaller. Uh oh. Forward air attack, reduced vulnerability. So it has less lag in the air, so you can double jump after it faster or up be faster. Maintain launch distance, maintain the launch distance and increased power. I don't. So it does more damage. What is maintained? So it has the same. Why would they even include that? Interesting. Up special. Is up B made it so the first attack upwards does not get neutralized. Oh, so you maybe he has like you can't hit him? Or maybe he has armor? Extended launch distance to the final attack. So it kills earlier. And uh oh, adjusted the launch angle. If it's upward, it didn't change anything, but if it's downward, this might be a kill move now. Ivysaur, basic movements. The vulnerability for breaking falls forward and backward now align with other fighters. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's his landing? We'll see. Diddy Kong, dash attack. So you don't fall out anymore. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Okay, you guys don't understand. Diddy Kong's dash attack is a really good move. It's like super safe. It's super quick. And the only thing that makes it not broken is that you fall out of it. I play with logic all the time, all the time. And I always fall out like half the time. This is good. And it the last, the hitbox for the final hit is bigger now too. That's crazy. Let me see something real quick. I'm looking up Diddy real quick on Ultimate Frame Data. Let's look at his dash attack. It's minus 14. And that's a moving, that's like a move that can go through you. If that goes behind you, that's basically safe. Because you have to drop your shield to punish it. Interesting. All right. Side tilt. Increased attack range in your hands. So it has a bigger hitbox next to the hands. Adjusted launch angle. We don't know what angle that is. That might mean it kills earlier or it's better for combos. Increased the amount of hit attacks last for the weak attack. So the hitbox uh, lasts longer for the, for the weak part. Forward air. Oh, down smash. Sorry. Increased attack speed. So it comes out faster. That's very, very good for Diddy Kong. Wow. They made down smash come out faster? What is it currently? What is down smash currently? Down smash is currently a nine frame startup. So what? It comes out on eight? 
seven, six frames. That's crazy. Increase the amount of time for select. So the second hit has a longer lasting hitbox. Forward air attack. Increased attack range at the beginning of the attack. So his hitbox is bigger. Oh my god, did they give him a smash for forward air? Oh my god, that thing's already good. The sweet spot on his forward air is bigger. Diddy Kong down special. Extended the time until the banana peel can be thrown again after initially being thrown. Okay, so that basically got rid of the, the infinite. Good. King DDD. Okay. Increased power, so it does more damage, and it does more knockback. Can we get some Brawl DDD? Can we get a kill move on that up tilt? Down tilt, adjusted launch angle. That might make it, like, better for edge guarding. Might kill, because it might, like, set it at a horizontal angle. We'll have to wait and see. Forward air, extended launch distance. More knockback, so it kills earlier. Up air attack, extend, extend a launch distance for the final attack, so it kills. Oh my god. Neutral special, increased speed. So his inhale comes out faster, and it's got a bigger hitbox. Like, it catches people bigger. It starts sucking them in bigger. Oh, that's a big deal. Why are there so... This is, like, the longest patch notes ever, guys. What the heck? This is the longest patch notes ever. All right, Villager. Neutral air. Made it easier to, to hit multiple times. What does that mean? Isn't his neutral air a one-hit move? Am I wrong here? Am I wrong here? Let's look at his neutral layer. Yeah, what what do you mean multiple times? This, this did, did it say jab? Oh, neutral attack. <laughs> did I do that for any other people's jabs? Did I accidentally? Okay, that's a neutral layer. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's look at his jab. His jab is currently three feet starter. So I guess people fell out of it. I don't know. All right. Up tilt. Made it easier to hit multiple times. Yeah, that's a two hit move. All right. So people won't fall out of it as much. Made the arm and head invincible while attacking, so he can anti-air with it now. Noish. Up air, extended launch distance, so it kills earlier. Down air, it comes out faster. What does it currently come out? Let's look at down air real quick. So it's currently 14 frames, so it comes out a little quicker. 13, 12, we'll have to wait and see. Down B, it reduced vulnerability when planting a seed. Reduced vulnerability when watering. So when he plants a seed, he has less lag. Uh, and when he waters, he has less lag, too. So it's currently... Let's see what it's currently. It, it currently is 43 frames for the seed. If you look right here. 43 frames for the seed and 54 total frames for the uh, water. So let's see. I wonder how much quicker that is. Extended launch distance when tacking with an axe. Tack! The axe kills even earlier? It already killed, and it does more shield damage. It already broke shields. What is going on? All right, Mega Man, basic movements. The vulnerability for breaking falls forward, backward now aligns. I don't know what that means, so we'll have to wait and see. Oh, Wii Foot Trainer. Okay. Oh, TK Breeze is going to be happy about this one. Down tilt attack. Adjusted launch angle. Maybe it knocks down for tech chases. Maybe it kills now. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, up smash, increased attack speed. That means it comes out faster. Okay, we fit. Let's see what that means. Let's see what she's currently at. We fit up smash. Okay, so it's currently 14 frame startup. So it comes out even faster than that. Man, people are paying mad with fireworks. Can you hear that? Here's the link, guys. You can always look on Reddit for this stuff. I don't, I can't type in my chat. Oh, there we go. All right. So up smash comes out faster. Down smash has less lag, which means it used to be minus 25 on shield. I wonder what it is now. Might be even safer. Forward air attack, reduced vulnerability. That means you can do more in the air in succession. She, I think she combos with her forward air sometimes or into it at least. Reduce. Oh, and it has less landing lag. Ooh. Let's see. 
Currently, her forward air is minus four on shield. This move's already minus four. What is it, minus three, minus two? What are they doing? It is nine frames of landing lag. What, they give it eight, seven? Oof. Neutral special extended launch distance. That's her like uh, her charge up, right? He gets her salute the sun, so it kills earlier now. Dang. Little Mac. Okay, I don't know what that means. Attack when getting up. All right, so he has less vulnerability when doing get up attack. Ah, I think I might know what my next get up attack video will be about. All right, all these characters, same things. Oh, Corin. Corin buffs. Okay, side smash attack. Increased power from the tip, so it does more damage at the tip. It does do more shield damage, though. Increased attack range. Bigger hitbox for the tip forward smash. Increased the opponent's downtime when hitting a shield. Let me see what that means. Downtime. Oh, it has less shield lag, so when it hits, like, both players don't freeze as much. Forward air attack. Maintain loss tensions. Okay, same launches. Increased power, so our forward air does more damage now. I think our forward air only did, like, 7%, so that's better. Back air, increased power when hitting the beginning of the attack. So it does more damage. Oh, and it does more knockback, so it kills earlier. Up air, increased power, more damage. Extended launch distance, kills earlier. Side special, her pin. Reduced vulnerability for lance attacks. Uh-oh, I need to see what that means. Is lance attacks like when she after she hits you? Let's see. Let's see, it says, so basically... Her side special now has less uh, lag. Where is it? Yeah, it has ne it has less lag when uh, during lance attacks. I don't know if that means the actual pin itself. So that's interesting. Or if it means one of these attacks that she does out of it. We'll have to wait and see. Um, extended launch distance for kicking. So her kick version, this one, it kills earlier. Reduce vulnerability when jumping after stabbing. So if you stab and then jump, you have less lag. That's very good. Corn get buffs. Okay. Okay, Bayonetta. Forward tilt. Third hit of her forward tilt has less lag. Cool down. Let's see what that means. I'm actually really interested in Bayonetta. She's interesting. All right, forward tilt three is minus 21, which means it might be even safer. It might be safe. We'll see. Up tilt. Increased attack speed. So her up tilt comes out earlier. It already comes out on frame nine. So that means frame eight, frame seven, frame six. We'll see. Made it easier to hit multiple times. People fall out of her up tilt all the time. Very important. So they buffed that. Good. Won't fall out anymore. Increased attack range of the last attack. So now we're second part of... Oh my god, here are all those fireworks? What the heck? So the last second hit of her up tilt has a big hit, bigger hitbox now, which means it's better for anti-airing. Um, increased the amount of time hit the section lasts. So it has... The whole attack has... It's more active. The hitbox is more active. Interesting. Side smash. Forward smash. Kills earlier. More active hitbox. Very good. Side special. Okay. Okay. She needed this. It was way too punishable. So her side B, when doing the air version and the ground version, now has less lag. So it'll be safer. But when doing upward, it's safer too. Oh my God. Her air version's safer. That means she can combo better in the air. That's very good. Shorten the distance an opponent can move with hit stun shuffling when previously hit. <gasps> or up B has less SDI, so you can't go out of it as well. Uh oh. King K rules buffed again. Oh, I get to make another King K rule. Oh. All right. Bayonet, uh, Ridley down special. Increase power. Increase the damage. Oh my. Okay, guys. You don't understand. Look at this. Ridley's down B. Already does. Where's the... Where's the part that... It does like 60 damage. Okay, it doesn't say it here. Oh yeah, it does 5%, 4%, 10. It says the tip. So I'm guessing that initial 5% is like more damage in case you accidentally hit people in the air. Interesting. All right, let's go. King K rule. Dash attack. Kills earlier. Longer lasting hitbox. Big buff. Up smash. More damage. Wow, more damage. Okay, I gotta I gotta I gotta get King K rule out here. Alright, his up smash already does 
15 damage. It's not too bad. All right, so we got a little buff there. Oh, it's at a launch distance, so it kills earlier too. That already kills very early. Back throw, adjusted launch angle. They might have made it so that kills earlier. Oh my god. Side B, made it harder to flinch from opponent's attacks while throwing the crown. So does his crown have armor? Is that what that purple means? Does he have armor? So uh, I guess he has armor on it. So I don't know. I don't know what that means. Now he has more armor. Increased durability of the belly. What does that mean? What does that mean? So when it says make it harder to flinch when, with armor and ultimate, uh, it's based on the damage the move does. So certain moves can break armor. So it's basically saying if his side speed special has armor, it's basically saying it will be able to tank more like harder hitting moves now. But his belly has more durability. Does that mean he gets hit four times, five times? My God, dude! All of these. Oh my God! All these bad characters. Oh, I have to. I have to calm down. Isabel dash attack comes out faster. All right, that's good. Up tilt less lag, so it's safer on shield. Wait, her up tilt's already pretty safe. Oh, it's not. No, wait, wait, wait a second. Her up tilts. It's not safe. I was wrong. I was very wrong. But this means she can combo better out of her up tilt. That is crazy. And it's a little safer on shield. Up smash. Increased attack speed. It's already 11 frames. What is it? 10, 9 frames? It's crazy. That's a really good move. Up air. Kills earlier. Down air. Comes out faster, just like Villager. Okay, let's okay, Incineroar. I'm happy. Let's, let's look at these Incineroars. Up smash, extended launch distance, kills earlier. Grab, attack. All right, so like he can pummel. Wait, increase the speed for grabs, dash grabs. All right, that just means that his pummel's quicker. I don't know why they said increase the speed for all of them, because I thought his pummel was always the same, no matter how you grab them. Weird. All right, his forward throw has more launch distance, so it might kill earlier. Side special, increase the speed of grabs. Does that mean like when they come back to you? Because if, if his hitbox, if he comes faster, that is crazy. If his grab is faster, that is his best move. It, wait, it kills earlier? If you get the Lariat? Oh my. Down special. So if you whiff the counter, wait, is that if it hits? If it has reduced vulnerability on hit, that means he can combo out of it. Or is it on whiff? Oh my god, I gotta see that. Increase power when the move succeeds. Oh man, I can't wait to see what that means. All right, Prana Plant. Different launch angle, which means off up tilt, which means you might be able to combo off it. Uh, it comes out faster too. All right, now I gotta look him out. Up tilt. Up tilt is already eight frame startup. So it comes out faster? Okay. Increased attack speed, so, and it has a different launch angle. Interesting. Down smash comes out faster. It is already 12 frames. So it comes out like 11, 10 frames? That's strong. Forward air comes out faster. 10 frames already. Oh, that's a really important, because that's an out of shield option. Hmm. Interesting. Back air extended launch distance. Wow, his back air already kills early. It kills even earlier now? All right. Up air does more damage and it kills earlier now. And people don't fall out of Kaboom anymore for hero. Edge attacks. Increase the backwards attack range. I guess that means like his get up attack from the ledge. It hits like further behind him so people can't avoid it. All right, those are the buffs. I can't wait to look at these. That's a lot of buffs for a lot of bad characters. Oh my God, dude, Mewtwo is going to be broken. Did I miss something with Count Falcon? People said his backdash was fixed. I just don't believe it. All right, guys. That Those are the patches.